good morning boys today i'm going to explain you how to perform an experiment on glass slab and the aim of the experiment is to study the relationship between the angle of incidence and the lateral displacement the apparatus used will be the glass slab and i'm showing you the glass slab here this is the glass slab right there will be the wooden board your protector your pencil and the ruler right the formula used is going to be based on the refractive index of the glass with reference to here which can be written as the refractive index of glass is equal to sin i over sin r where mu has been shown that's a refractive index of glass with reference to here and sin of angle of incidence and sin of angle of refraction right that we have used for the formula so as to have the refractive index calculated for the glass slab the observation table has been given here where the observation number the angle of incidence angle of refraction angle of emergence and the lateral displacement there have been number of angles given 30 degree 35 degree 40 45 50 and 55 that means you are going to find out the observations for six angles and on different sheets of paper we start with the first angle 30 degree right angle of incidence has been taken 30 degree so once you perform your experiment you are going to fill in this observation table with all the values whatever you get after performing your experiment to understand how we are going to do the experiment that i am explaining you here you are going to have the plain sheet of paper taken and then on the top you are going to draw the normal 90 degree line little 2 cm away from the corner of the glass slab now this glass slab has been drawn on the plain sheet of paper right and you will be drawing a ray incident on the glass slab making an angle of incidence now let's suppose i'm taking as 30 degree which is first reading right then you will fix this paper on the hard board and then put four thumb nails at the corner so that it fixes on the hard board easily and then you are going to put three pins one all pin here and the second all pin i am just putting here and the third all pin i am putting here right now this ray what i have made that is making 30 degree angle with the normal right that we have to see whichever angles you are taking that angle you will be measuring with the help of protector once you have done this we have to fix other three pins from this side now i'll observe it i'll bend a little bit and i'll be observing through the glass slab the these three pins and adjust other three pins from this side right first pin i'm putting second pin i'm putting and third pin i'm putting three more pins i have put so that it appears to me that all these six pins when i'm seeing through the glass slab they appear to me in a straight line so these three pins you'll be putting keeping in view so that it appears to you in a straight line now once you've done it you'll remove the pin from here and you'll encircle the point with your pencil you'll remove the second pin and you'll encircle the point with a pencil third pin you'll remove and you'll encircle the point with a pencil now same way i'll remove these three pins and i'll encircle so that i know exactly my incident ray was there and i have used three pins over there and other three pins i have put and i find that these three pins when i join right they are going to appear in a straight line they are going to appear in a straight line now my work is that basically my first observation is over but i have to take the readings from there what i'll do i'll draw a normal here and i'll be measuring this angle of emergence join this point of incidence with this so i'm joining it and you'll be putting the ray for showing the 
refracted ray this will be angle of refraction to find out the lateral displacement what i'll do i'll extend this incident ray further and find out the perpendicular distance between the emergent ray what i have got and the incident ray extended forward now this will be the lateral displacement and its value after measurement i'll be putting it here this is going to be my first experiment or first observation right i'll repeat the experiment by changing the angle of incidence to 35 degree but i'll be doing it on a separate sheet of paper let me explain you how we are going to do actually on the paper so what i'm doing this is my hard board and this is my glass slab right and this glass slab i'll be putting it on the top of my sheet of paper and i'll use a pencil and i'll draw the outline of this glass slab once the outline is done i'll be using a ruler and i'll be showing the incident ray making a certain angle of incidence with the normal now here i have done for you this the glass slab has been used and then the incident ray has been shown over here which is made incident on the glass slab now once this is done i'll be fixing this sheet of paper on the hard board use the thumbnails and now place this glass slab on the top of the outline what you had drawn use the all pins so one pin i'm just putting here the second pin i'm putting again on the incident ray the third pin i'm putting on the incident ray so there three pins have been put vertically on the hard board on the top of the incident ray what i had drawn before now i'll try to see from this side of the glass slab in such a manner so that the image of the previous three pins is seen to me in a straight line along with the pin what i am putting so one pin i have put i am putting the second pin and i'll be putting the third pin here right the third pin i'm just putting so that all the three these pins what i'm putting they come in a straight line and the image of these three pins on the incident ray and the emergent ray whatever i'm using or the pins i'm putting they should appear to me in a straight line now once i find them that is done correctly i'll remove this pin and i'll encircle the point with a pencil i'll remove the second pin i'll encircle it with a pencil i'll remove the third pin and i'll encircle it with a pencil remove your glass slab and again remove these pins which you had put on the incident ray and then you are going to keep on putting the circle around the points so that you know exactly where you place the pin now once you have done this remove your sheet of paper and then you'll find your diagram is going to come like this right so what you are going to do you'll join these three points with the help of your ruler draw normal here and join the incident ray with the point where the emergent ray is starting right and then you'll find your diagram will appear like this same way as i explain on your diagram right in the general diagram i have explained to you so same thing we have the incident ray shown this is a refracted ray shown this is a emergent ray shown i extended the incident ray further and the distance between the two i'll be measuring with the help of a ruler and that will give me the value of lateral displacement i'll repeat my experiment by taking another sheet of paper and by changing the angle of incidence so i'll find as i keep on changing the angle of incidence the angle of refraction will change and the lateral displacement value will keep on changing now once i complete all my readings then i am going to plot a graph and while plotting the graph i have to write angle of incidence values here whatever the angle of incidence i have taken i'll be marking them here and equal intervals i have to use so if i have started from 30 degrees so i can put a tab here 
and then I can write 30 degree here and so on 40, 50, 60, uh, 35, 40, 45, 55 so on right and the value of lateral displacement again whatever the value starting now here it's 2.2 so I can put a tab again here and I can start from 2 2.2 2.4, 2.6, so on. But equal intervals you are going to use. Whatever the values of lateral displacement you will be obtaining, you are going to plot them here. Now let's suppose I get these points while plotting. Right? I plot and I find I have got these five points obtained after plotting the graph between angle of incidence and lateral displacement. Best three points I am going to join to make it into a straight line right whichever three points are coming in a line i'll be joining them to make it into a straight line that means the graph between angle of incidence and lateral displacement is a straight line graph that you can write in the result graph is a straight line graph what conclusion we are going to draw from there that lateral displacement is directly proportional to angle of incidence which means more the angle of incidence more is going to be the lateral displacement right now you'll be performing this way the experiment concentrate be careful when you perform your experiment thank you